Hey everybody, it's the Gaming Optimist talking about Pole Position 2. I didn't play this one until Namco Museum's 50th anniversary, I believe. It's just the fucking same as Pole Position 1. Let's change this up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. I know I said I hated the first one because I'm a casual gamer, but I still respect it because of what it did. Um, so that made it an optimistic review. This is a pessimistic review. Fuck this. I, it's the film. Uh, sorry. It's the whatever the fuck this is. The gaming pessimist. Because it's the same fucking game as the first one. And it just... There's very minor differences. There's like a different color scheme. The timer is displayed as time in the Japanese but a unit in the American release. There's a new opening song. I remember that. I I, I uh, booted it up and I was like, okay, let's see what they did differently. And it was like, oh, this is this, this looks very similar. It doesn't feel that different. The graphics haven't changed for sure. So what the fuck? You released the same goddamn game and just put two behind it? Nah, no, fuck that. Fuck you, Namco. For this shit. For this hot garbage. I spit on this hot garbage. Thank you guys for uh, watching this uh, video. Um, I truly appreciate it. Um, Namco, if you're watching, um, I don't respect this decision you made to make this game. Um, thank you all for watching. Have a good one.